All right. Hello, everyone. This is Ankur back again. And this time I'm back with a tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a animated GIF using GIMP. And I know GIMP is not particularly used for these purposes, but still, you know, it's kind of fun. There are other better softwares out there. Like, for example, I personally use Blender. I've been learning this recently. So I, I suggest you to do that too. But anyways, uh, this is how we do it. First, type GIMP in your search bar and click the GIMP. After that, when it opens up, so we have GIMP right here. The next thing that you need to do is you need to go to Google and search for a couple of clip arts. Uh, I've already done it and I've saved it over here. Uh, you can use, you know, anything depending on the type of, you know, art that you want to make. For example, I'm going to use this grass thing and I'm going to use this car, this, this little guy over here and then make a GIF out of it. First thing that you do is you can, uh, right click this and open it with GIMP. After that, what you can do is you can open this file too. Finally, the last thing you can do is you can open this car with GIMP. And uh, you could do this, you know, at the same time by create, clicking over here, file, and then open these layers. That way, you know, you can input all at once. But still, I'm going to do this. So next thing that you should do is click this color picker tool and select this color. Now we have this color in our foreground color tab. After that, the next thing that you need to do is select by color and then click this. Now what you do is press delete on your keyboard. After that, this color is gone. After that, select select none. After that, click this bucket fill tool and fill this tires and all again. So there we have it. After that, the next thing that you want uh, that you should do is come to this this thing over here and then control A, hit control A, edit, copy visible, go back over here, and then control V. Paste it right over here. And then click this icon on the bottom right, create a new layer and edit to the image. Then the next thing that you need to do is click this unified transform tool and make this guy a little bigger, you know, so that we can you know, create an effect of him being inside the car. So now what you want to do is you place this guy over here, a little bit, this is still big. So control, hit control Z two more times. So let me place this guy over here first. Now let me switch the order of the layers, okay? So you can click this, you know, uh, one of these icons, and then when I click this down, you know, this goes, this tier, this goes, you know, inside the car. Since the you know the car layer will be on the top, you get it, and then the tier layer will be on the bottom. Okay. So after that, you move this little guy. Just a second. I selected the wrong tool. So select this move tool and move this guy around. Actually, let me increase its size a little bit using this tool, Unified Transform tool. So I'm going to increase the size a little bit. Hit enter. Now I'm again going to select this move tool and over here, I'm going to move this guy little over here. Let's make him a little bit bigger like this. Okay, now we're good to go. The next thing we need to do is hit it, hit, hit it, and then copy visible right here. Okay, now next thing you need to do is file new and select the dimension as 1280 by 720 okay and then click this bottom right here landscape advanced option and click transparency or you can click white directly okay uh, but just to show you I'm, I'm going to click background color not background color transparency so that you know you can come over here select white color 
after that edit fill with background color okay so after that what we need to do is we already did this edit copy visible come back over here and then control v okay so now this thing is pasted over here you know that guy and you know, the car is pasted over here and down and now the next thing that you need to do is click this unified transform tool click this car over here now what this uniform transfer tool does is it can reduce the size of this so i'm going to decrease it significantly press enter now click this control and then mouse scroll will okay scroll it and then you know you can increase its size now next thing click the move tool and move this this guy over here that's still way too big again select the unified transform tool let's decrease the size more let's see let's decrease it till here let's move it over here yep let's move it over here again control and then mouse wheel up and if you don't have a mouse then you can simply click view and then zoom and then you can select the in the sides 50 percent 100 percent right now i'm at 50 percent so let me increase it a little bit further now on the bottom right click this create a new layer in a to the image decrease the size a little bit more so we can have you know more area to perform the animation in okay so right here we have this after that we are now let's come to the grass select edit and then copy visible come back over here and then select you know this white part control v the grass is also way too big so let's create you know let's click this unified transform tool click over here and press enter after that control mouse will up again select this you know move tool and then move this grass over here it's still way too big you know so i'm going to decrease it a little bit further you can select anywhere you can select here 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 wherever and then at the end press enter okay so after you are done here you are good to go on the bottom right click this create a new layer and edit to the image now all we need to do is move this thing around and we are done let me actually put this right here okay now we're good to go so i'm going to now what i'm going to do is you know click over here right click okay right click and then select new from visible so now a new layer is created over here all right actually let me click here and then do it new from visible okay now click this move tool and then click this guy over here okay i'm going to drag him a little bit further like this after that you know hide this thing and then click over here and then new from visible okay go back to this guy again move it a little bit forward like this and hide this thing visible layer again now new from visible one more time go back move this guy a little bit forward and then again hide this layer again again new from visible back to the car guy move it a little bit forward hide this layer again new from visible actually uh yeah new from visible back to this guy a little bit forward yep hide this thing again new from visible little bit forward yeah and then new from visible again so here our animation can stop so what we need to do next is we need to go back over here we need to unhide this guy now what we need to do is we can actually go back to this layer and then select select you know right click this okay and then you know click over here scale layer where is it right here so 409 by 217 that is the size of this layer okay so go back over here and then select image scale image 
I forgot the sizes. Okay, let's see. Scale it. 409 to 17. 409 to 17. Four oh nine two seventeen right now click scale okay so the next thing that you need to do is edit copy visible go back over here and the next thing that you do, need to do is paste it over here control V okay create this you know floating layer now we can delete this layer you know this layer underneath you know we can we can delete this layer right here right click and delete layer now this part is over here now we need to bring this little guy back over here okay. control a copy visible let's bring this guy over here let's reduce his size okay like this now yeah i think we can decrease its size a little bit more. Okay, right here. Mm. Yeah, now click this. Create a new layer and edit the image. Come back over here. We need to keep on this little guy over here. Here, you know I went after that go back here hide this thing then just a second okay mm. okay yeah that's it new from visible okay after that the next thing that you need to do is again move this guy a little further over here new from visible again go back here select now hide this thing again new from visible again hide this thing finally we are sorry control z now again move this thing till here again click new from visible okay i think now we are good to go or you can you know try to move this thing a little bit more Up till here new from visible Okay, now we're good to go. We can delete these two layers now at the top. Okay, so now we're good to go. Mm. Finally, let's say if you want to add text, text and all. So you can click this text tool over here. And then you can like write stuff over here, you know. Let's see. Now I'm going to write something like that's right here. Dear grass animation. Okay. Dear grass animation right here. Okay. Now we can add one more layer over here. Thanks for watching. Okay, that's all. So now I, I'm going to like tell you how this works. Okay, overall, what happens is that you know you need to delete this thing too. Delete layer two. What happens is that in the beginning this thing is displayed over here, right? And then what happens is that this image displayed, then this, then this, then this, and then this one. It looks kind of like you know. We should have reduced the size of the deer. You know, over here you can see the mistakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this deer is way too big. You know, but hopefully you can edit it on your own time. That is, use some creativity. Finally, this thing comes. So what you need to do next is, you know, you can close all these things. This one, discard. 
you can close this thing to discard create uh, filters click filters and go to animation and then click over here optimize for gif what this does is it reduces the size of the animation by removing you know repetitive uh, parts of the image so let's see so finally our animation is done the size is pretty small 14.7 mb as compared to this one in the memory 128 mb so go to filters animation and then playback to see your animation okay so hit play so here we are a nice little animation so to export this click file export is yeah, you can select anywhere i'm going to select desktop then you can type in let's say dear animation dot now over here you need to type gif that's all you need to do to export is as a you know animated format and then after that you need to click gif animation here you don't need to add gif comment and you can click glue forever and you can maybe you know increase the time between the frames i'm gonna run, let's say make this 100 and let's say 70 and use delay interval for all frames you can click i don't care over here and then click export and your animation is exported you can save this thing if you need it in the future so after that finally our animation is right over here it's pretty small size you know 130 13.6 kilobytes so that's less than the size of the image yeah you know you can play around with you know delay between the frames and all like you can you know i use 170 you can you know maybe use 100 and it'll be more smoother you can add more frames like you need to you know you can add more amount of pauses in between so that that's it thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, peace.